Hello and welcome to Making Your First Animation, Chapter 4. This chapter is Sequence Mode. I'm Mr. Jamie. And once you get your file up, you want to click Mode, and then Sequence, and then View All, if it's not already set to View All. And then we want to go to Settings, choose Scene, Sequence, sorry, and we're going to name it Walking. And then we're going to click the dot, dot, dot next to Figure, choose our figure, click OK, click OK. Now we get our select arrow, double click and arm bone. This is programming our bones. We're going to click, 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 X, Y, Z, click, 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 no limits. Mine are already checked, but yours probably won't be. Click OK. Now we're going to do the head bone. Double click, click X, Y, click and Z, click no limits. Check, 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 check. Click OK. Now the other arm. Uh, we already did that arm. So other arm. There we go. Double click, click X, Y, and Z, click no limits. Check, check, check. Click OK. Now down to our legs. Double click a leg, click X, Y, and Z, click no limits. Other leg, double click, X, Y, and Z, no limits, check, check, check. OK, and we've already done the head. Now we need to turn on the animation key. It's a little picture of a key at the bottom of the icon list. When you click it, it will turn green. Also select and select Select a leg and use your rotate tool to rotate that leg forward. Then use your select tool to select the arm on the same side. The arm will go opposite the leg on that side, so that arm goes back. Get the select tool, select the other leg, pull it the opposite direction, and select the arm that goes with that leg, and that'll go opposite the leg, so it'll go forward. So on a side, if an arm's forward, a leg's backwards, and vice versa. Now we're going to select the head, use the right mouse button in top view, and that'll allow us to rotate the head easily. Just a little bit, so he's off to the side. Now we got to go down to the timeline at the bottom with the select arrow, and we're going to choose frame 12, and repeat the process. Select the leg, and we're going to rotate it opposite the way it was. Select the other leg, and pull it opposite the way that one was. Sometimes you have to go to front view to select them. But you want to rotate them in left. Select an arm and flip it opposite the way it was. If it was forwards, it's now backwards. Select the other arm, which is backwards, now goes forwards. So the arms and legs reverse each other. Now we go to the timeline and we click over to 01 and we do it again. Leg that's backwards goes forwards. The leg that's forward goes backwards. The arm that's, which one are we doing first? The arm that's backwards goes forwards. And the arm that's forwards goes backwards. See how you're constantly going back between select and rotate. There we go. And now with our select arrow, we're going to select the head. And again, right mouse button and top view to give the head a little rotation. There we go. All right, good. Now down on the timeline, we're going to click that next big line there and do it again rotate the leg that's forwards backwards rotate the leg that's backwards forwards there we go and same thing with the arms the arm that is forward now goes backwards the arm that is backwards now goes forwards by the way this is called a scissor walk it's the easiest walk to animate There we go. All right. Looks good. Now we need to go setting sequence again. And we're going to change the number of frames to one less than the or one more than the current. Click okay and you'll see that is now no more. Go file save and that's it till next chapter.